Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be talking about the Apologia Level 2 Matte. If you are interested in seeing a review and a flip through, give this video a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to my channel and welcome. Okay, hi, my name is Sharday Henry. I'm a homeschool mom to five children. I have a um, second grader, a two pre-Kers, and two, um, I have twins, a boy and a girl, and they're five months old. All right, I'm back, <laughs> as usual. Um, so like I was saying, we our previous curriculum was a spiral approach, and it did not gel well with me. I think my daughter was fine. Um, and if you don't know, I used to be a math teacher. I have a master's. I'm a national board certified math teacher. So you could give me literally, uh, <laughs> any curriculum math based and we'll make it work. So I wasn't happy with it, but we just continued with it for the school year because we paid the money and we're going to use it. Okay. Um, but I've been researching like just different, um, maths that we can use and th i wanted to try the apologia math i've been looking at it for years so decided to bite the bullet and just go ahead when it was time for us to move on from our previous curriculum so what i'll say about this curriculum let's just um <laughs> one the pros of this is that there's always a like hands-on activity for the kiddos to do and that really um, is a plus because my daughter and actually all my children, they like playing games. They like uh, being very hands-on with everything. So that has been, we are finishing up unit two, which is chapters one and two. So we've had some, we have some skin in the game. Um, even my son who is in pre-K, he will sit for her math lesson because he wants to play with the manipulatives. He wants to see what game she's playing and then they'll play sometimes on their own. Another pro is once you get your curriculum inside, you'll see that there's a website where you can retrieve additional resources. If, if you end up using material from the teacher's guide, so in the back of the, t so, okay. Let's backtrack. I tore... The teacher's guide comes like this. Okay? I just ended up tearing it because the front part of it is for the parent, like, additional notes and the answer keys. And then the back of it are any, like, cards that they need, any boards, any activity sheets. They're here. So... That would be a con for me that I, and I tore it because it's not like perforated or anything. So they said tear it out. So it was just easier for me to tear things out once we get to it. I need to come up with a system of keeping everything right now. It's just all in this and in this, but I will probably just get a three ring binder and the things that we can reuse. I'll just put them in a three ring binder. And I'm not concerned about if she writes on it or anything because you can always go online and print out whatever you're missing for the next child. Another note to keep is that these units go, if you are using their science, they go, they match with their science pretty well. So you, when you get your book, you can look inside and it will it goes with exploring creation um let me see which correction this pairs well with the exploring creation botany elementary science with? this text was written written with the expectation that we would be helping our child so if you're thinking to just like hand them the book that's not going to work it was written for you as the parent to work alongside your child the text is not written for them to be able to read it on their own. It's divided into six units, and then there is ample practice. I would say that it's more of a mastery approach. The writer of this 
curriculum she is a math teacher she has her um, master's so and she's taught homeschools and she's taught homeschool students previously so she under she understands the dynamics of what that's like in a home i will say that the extra manipulatives if you have littles who are still oral you might want to wait until they're napping because there's you know the ones pieces and i'll show a little clip of like all of the things that come with it i got the rainbow resource pack that comes with it but you can t ultimately use different things in your home the only thing that i would say you have to have, probably have are the uh, 10 the base 10 cubes um but i'll show you guys that the units cover number sense and value addition and subtraction with two digit numbers money and time addition and subtraction with three digit numbers measurement and data and geometry and there are 14 chapters the teacher's guide includes a daily schedule it is meant to be a four week four day a week mathematics program with the fifth day being review and they also address different skills to practice during the unit so that by the time they are done they are more proficient and able to move on to the next unit they are suggested um skill practice so for unit one the skill practice is doubles facts and they want these mastered before moving on to unit two so we've had five weeks to work on our double doubles practice probably like five and a half weeks to work on that and then I'll assess her and see how she does but on that fifth day I really was like honing in and playing games and things of that nature to help her and just from my just from a experience assessment with her I think she's pretty well set to move on to unit two we have been incorporating math addition math facts that stick so I do feel like she's even getting quicker and quicker with that they do give you suggestions on how to incorporate these practice skills within the unit and those are in the teacher's guide and I'll do a flip through and let you see. So I just read that it says you will notice at the beginning of the skills practice overlaps with first grade. So basically they're, that's where they're intertwining that spiral approach. So you might not see much spiral within the unit to unit, but they're spiraling it because they're going back to previous knowledge that was done in the first grade. And Catherine Gohm, she really tried to incorporate a lot of things that us homeschool families are looking for which is fun carefully crafted concepts skills practice ease of use and christian connections i will say there is not a lot of christian connection in here at the beginning of each, each unit there's a bible verse and so if that is something that you're not interested in you could totally skip out it's not intertwined within the lessons which i think is definitely um either a plus or a minus for some people it doesn't bother me either way we have a bible curriculum that we well we just read the bible but we do bible in our homeschool so whether or not it's in our curriculum it won't it doesn't matter to us but yeah without further ado here is the flip through again before we get started i just want to let you know that i did end up tearing my teacher's edition apart i can just take this to um staples and have them cut it and spiral bound it for five dollars so i do plan on doing that but we've been using it so yeah so we'll get started with the teacher's edition At the beginning of the teacher's edition, you'll find a week by week daily schedule and the green boxes are the markings of units that are to start and in those you'll see skills practice, which means during that unit, these are practicing um, skills that we want to bring back to the child's memory while working on this unit and again they are from the first grade and then after that it shows you different ways to incorporate 
those skills, skills practices within the units. And then each lesson gives you a aerial view of the student pages with the answers and also a synopsis of the lesson and what is important to the lesson. Also in the beginning of each unit, you will see a supply list, but there's also a supply list for the whole course in the back of the book. I forgot to add that this lesson is, I'm sorry, this um, curriculum is 28 weeks long, which gives you 112 lessons. I'm also a big fan of this curriculum because it is not common core math and it shows the child multiple ways of how to get to the answer of a problem. In the beginning of the student workbook, there is the course website and the password for additional resources, a beginning chapter opener with a anchor in scripture, and then I'm going to fast forward the first chapter, first couple of sections because um, my daughter had ended up using it. But before each lesson, there is a hands-on activity, a a little bit of instruction and a little bit of practice. I can appreciate the wide enough space for students to work within the book. Also the beautiful colors, but it's not overwhelming. And also the ability to um, have space to work out their answers. Also when it comes to adding and subtracting two digit numbers and three digit numbers, I certainly appreciate the space that they um, give the child for a more gentle approach and also guiding them with the um, what's it called when you have the remain like remainder like things left over or when you're carrying the 10 and things of that nature so it's just <clears throat> it's just all around a curriculum that I could see us using until they stop going up in grades.
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them as best as I can. As always, our Heavenly Father loves you tremendously and don't forget to drink your water and repent. Bye!